We'll be traveling deep into the Earth in a race against time and our competitor. Get started in the North Sea fields before exploring the challenges in Qatar. Click on a location and let's play. In the harsh environment of the North Sea fields, your target is one million barrels produced in the fastest possible time. We know the oil is out there somewhere, but it's not easy nor cheap to find. We'll start by acquiring the necessary licenses. Left click on your ship or helicopter, and then right click on the map to start exploring. Hi there, I'm a lead geologist. I look for oil residue. When I the permeable when I Hi there, I'm a lead geologist. I look for oil reservoirs, preferably the Some 150 million years ago, fish and plants were living in the oceans, fjords and lakes, just like today. When they died, they sank to the bottom and became part of the seabed consisting of mud, sand and clay. Over millions of years, the Earth's surface layers containing the dead fish and plants were squeezed deeper and deeper underground. This was caused by the weight of newly formed layers and the enormous forces of the continental plates moving. Kilometers below surface, the weight of water and earth layers pressing down from above creates great pressure. This pressure results in loose sediment being transformed into different types of rock, for example limestone, sandstone and shale. At a depth of around 3,500 meters, temperatures can get very high. A temperature of between 60 and 120 degrees Celsius, and in combination with high pressure and organic rich rock, conditions are perfect for the creation of oil. Oil has a tendency to move upwards, but when it becomes trapped by an impermeable layer, a so-called seal rock, an oil reservoir is formed. The seal rock keeps the oil locked in the reservoir, where it accumulates in tiny pores between the grains of porous rock like sandstone and limestone. These rocks are called reservoir rocks. Hi there, I'm a lead geologist. I look for oil reservoirs. As a tool pusher, my job is to find out if the potential reservoirs really contain oil. There's only one way to know for sure. Drilling for oil offshore is just like drilling through mountains of solid rock. Because far below the sea's surface, we find exactly the same kilometer thick layers of solid rock, some of which contain oil. Nature has held on to this resource for millions of years and hard work is needed to set the oil free. Drilling through solid rock takes expertise, time, and the world's toughest drill bits. A single four kilometer deep well takes weeks to drill and requires knowledge of layers, depths, and extreme precision. But with accuracy, you'll be able to hit your desired target within a square meter. While the drills need to be extremely strong and durable to withstand the different earth layers they encounter, they must also be sensitive enough to adjust to the different types of rocks. The correct drill speed and pressure on the bit are essential to prevent excessive wear. But that's not all. They need to withstand the extreme pressures and temperatures that they meet kilometers below the surface. Temperatures below the surface are often in excess of 100 degrees Celsius and pressures several times higher than above ground. Drilling for oil is not for the faint-hearted. It's a tough, slow, and challenging process, exploring deep into the heart of the Earth's interior. As a tool pusher, my job is to...
Hi there, I'm a Ali- As a tool pusher, my job is to find out if the potential reserve The three drilling big changes can occur in the well pressure and our vet drilling can- My work as a production engineer is... Even when you do find oil, the key to knowing where to search lies in the rock's permeability and porosity. Porosity refers to the structure of the rock and describes the way the rock layers break up when the drill bit passes through. It is relevant to how the oil is hidden in the layers. Permeability refers to the composition of the rock and indicates how well oil penetrates a specific rock type. It is relevant to how the oil is stored within the rock. When oil is found in rock, the complex process of extraction can begin. Only a precise combination of technological insights and correctly metered force will release the oil. Water, or CO2 under pressure, is carefully pumped into the wells to release the oil from the rock and bring it to the surface. My work as a production engineer is defined by the technologies used to bring the oil from deep underground to the surface. This looks like a promising place. Let's buy the license and let's carry out a geological survey so we can analyze a seismic cross-section. We're producing oil, great job. It looks like you've learned a lot about finding oil. Let's explore the rest of the field.